This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to animate an awesome wedding title for your wedding shots in Adobe After Effects. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to show you today. And even though this takes a little time to animate, at the end this adds a lot of production quality to your final video. And if you are working for a client, he or she is going to be very happy that you took the time to animate this and to add this into their final video. So you can expect some kind of referral work because of this, right? And even if you're not working for a client, this looks superb. And if you're, and if you're doing some uh, editing for your friend or for your relatives, they are going to be very happy that you took the time to animate this, right? So with that being said, let's get started. Uh, I have set up another example here, right? So even if you are not a hardcore designer and you don't know how to use Illustrator because we are going to use that for designing this, uh, you can you know create some minimalistic designs right the, which can be done right here in after effects and make it work like that so as you can see this too looks quite nice and uh, you know works very well for video editing and for completing or finishing the wedding videos right uh, also i would like to make uh, say one, one last thing that guys this is a continuation from an another tutorial that i did on color correction right so i'm gonna be using files from that video so we'll be if you were to go watch that video in that I show you how to take this shot and make it into this right so the subtleness is there but at the end the video the, the the final shot looks really nice right the dullness of the video has been removed the skin tones are looking nice and you can watch that then you can come watch this in which we will animate a title on this right there you go right Okay, so with that being said, awesome people, let's get started. So I have my video here, right? I have, uh, again, a lot of people ask me how is the workflow for editing. What I would say is cut everything in Premiere Pro and then from there, select the one second shot, like, you know, a part of the edit and send it into After Effects and, you know, all, do all your compositing, video effects like that. So that way the edit is perfect, right? And you have a final video that's ready to go. Uh, so coming here in, in Adobe Illustrator, awesome people, the journey for creating this actually starts in Adobe Illustrator where we design the full title. So let me show you that. And here is uh, the tutorial uh, asset that I'm going to be using, right? And uh, some people may end up with this. So even if you know how to use Adobe Illustrator, you may end up with something like this. And this is not going to work for After Effects. The way we work is that we save uh, an AI file and then we bring the AI file in After Effects. But when you do this, you have to see to it that all your different uh, things, like for example, all these different hearts, they have to be on their separate layers, right? And in this example, as you can see, we don't have that. Right, we have this in one layer. So one easy way to fix this is to select that main layer, go to this options bar and uh, click on this button, release the layer sequence. And that's gonna uh, divide the full design that you have made into separate layers. So you just have to select these now, right? And then push them out and there you go. Right now, now you can save the file as an AI and uh, send it into After Effects and we can animate. Okay, uh, one more example, uh, I mean, w one more thing I would like to say before getting started is that uh, when you start to create your own awesome uh, wedding title, some people may end up watching these tutorials. And while these are superb Adobe Illustrator tut uh, designing tutorials, right? If you were to create something like this, like flourishes like this, this would not be animatable in, in After Effects. Like, of course, you can animate them, but not the way that you're thinking. So some people would want them to come out like that uh, that really wouldn't animate well so I, I would say that you know stay away from flourishes uh, you know v v when you are designing these titles and just to give you a perspective uh, I'm also trying to promote my future titles so I've designed about 50 titles that I'm gonna animate and send them for sale on video hive so you guys don't have to animate uh, and come up with design and stuff you can just go and purchase that item so you can do that 
and uh, you know here, here are some examples some creative examples for you to look and see that you know wedding titles don't necessarily have to have flourishes right and these are all animatable so if you come up with designs like this then go for it right okay so with that being said uh, let's get started so I have already done the saving part again guys you cannot have everything on one layer you have to have different layers okay so I already have my uh, AI like that now I'm gonna take this AI file oh, where, where is it uh, I'm gonna take this AI file I'm gonna drag and drop it into After Effects like so when I drag and drop it I'm gonna get this import dialog box and guys if you ever import something and if you don't get like if you import an AI file and if you don't get this then you are having that one layer problem okay so you want to go and fix that so you get this thing uh, you want to select composition and keep layer size you don't want to make document size okay click OK and that thing has been imported now I already have this thing so it's uh, it came with tutorial too but for you it should work uh, for some of you it is gonna be black like this in and some of you what you guys would do is you would like to create a new solid right don't do that don't create a new solid um, don't do this okay even though this works like if we put the solid over here this thing works and, and it's visible now but this is not the right way to go because uh, at, at the end when you put this uh, let me just close everything else guys when you put this tutorial to on your example on your footage you can see that you're gonna have this white layer problem so what I would say is instead of creating the solid delete this right click composition settings and uh, make the background color white in the composition settings okay so like that there is no alpha problems you're having an alpha uh, design and animation and you can still see everything all right so we are done now let's animate now guys I would say there is this awesome script called ease copy I think this is by another tutorial maker on YouTube Mickey or Mikey right he has made this uh, awesome awesome script you can purchase this on aescripts.com but uh, and you know this is gonna make your work a lot easier for example I have to animate 50 titles right so I'm gonna you know I, I tend to use a lot of different scripts as you can see here I've got a lot of them but if you're just doing one title animation, then you don't really need this. So if you are into template making and if you want to make templates and go ahead and buy this, okay, it's gonna help you a lot. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna assume that you don't have anything uh, and let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to select all the text layers. There, for example, this thing, this guy and this guy too, right? And you just want to disable them. And, and as you can see, it's gonna be a little difficult to select the text layers. So take your time with that. Don't skip that part right uh, select this and uh, just disable it for now a at the end you're going to delete them but for now you just want to disable them uh, select all of them the ones that are disabled and you put them on top and uh, yeah one thing I would like to say that awesome people when you're done designing in, in Adobe Illustrator don't care about rename, uh, renaming the layers some of you may think that oh my god we have to rename your layers and stuff and you know so you can be organized and stuff Trust me on this awesome people, don't rename and then just bring them as a mess in After Effects and we'll fix it over here, okay? And uh, what I would say is that if you are not passing these files to your colleagues or anything like that, then you can straight work with the AI files. But what I like to do is I like to convert them into shape layers that are native to After Effects. And the reason that we are doing this is because uh, the file size is going to be a lot lighter than working with these many layers like for example this is just 34 layers right let me open up uh, the complex design and you will see that the titles can actually have a lot of different layers like you can see this guy so many different layers and what if you are making two titles right this into two so it's going to be quite a heavy file what i would say is convert everything to shape layers and work accordingly okay now unfortunately you cannot select all of them and convert to shape layers you'll have to do each and every one of them manually so what I would say is for a design like this select all the files like this right and then select them right like this and then just select them so that you can animate all of them together right so for example we know uh, if I show you the preview I think this is preview 1 that at the end we just want the hearts to scale up right they're not gonna have any fancy bounce or anything just they're just gonna have rotation and a simple scale up right 
So what we can do is we can select all of them and we can oops and we can push them down and give them a color a pink you know some sort of distinguishable color and so that if I uh, remove their eyeballs you can see that all of them were selected and nothing extra was selected now what we can do is we can animate all of these guys together so I'm gonna move ahead in time to about one second right or maybe to two second I'm gonna hit the S key start the animation move back in time hit zero all right uh, I'm gonna select all of them hit the F9 key Go to the graph editor, select uh, the right side and I'm going to ease it out like this. I'm going to give them an extreme left peak. Uh, I'm going to hit the R key on the keyboard. Um, go to the other side, go to like two, two, two second mark, start the animation there, move back in time. And I'm going to basically I'm going to rotate it uh, randomly, right? Something like this. And because they are so small, it doesn't really matter how you rotate them. Um, maybe you, you will have to come back and you may like this kind of animation, you know, where everything is so random. Uh, sometimes you may not like it and you want to have uniform scale, right? So I'm just going to rotate them like this. And because we had selected everything so randomly, uh, we're going to have a very nice animation at the end because layers were selected in a very random uh, order. Like we, we, we didn't go for this group first, that group first, this, then this, right? We just went on selecting. And uh, you, you want to add ease for rotation as well. And you want to have the same kind of ease. Oops, we, we, we left out this one. Yeah. Right? And you want to have uh, rotation to have the same kind of ease scaled it. So select the left um, side and then push it all the way like this. So you're going to have an extreme uh, curve on the left side, right? Close them and let's just preview these guys. I'm gonna solo them. So select all of them solo Right Let's see. All right looks quite nice Okay, this is awesome. What I would do is because there, there are so many layers I'm gonna click on toggle switches and mode to reveal my shy icon and I'm gonna shy all of them Enable it for the composition. So all of these layers are gone, right? And also I would like to remove the solo. Yeah, I'm going to select all of these guys and remove their eyeballs so, so they don't get us, uh, you know, get in the way. You may also want to lock these layers. Okay. Now, if I shy them, they're going to go away and we can focus on animating the rest of these. Um, okay. So these many are just text layers, right? We're going to color them a little bit differently. Red. Lock them too. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, first, I'm going to remove the shy, select these guys. And then just shy them off, right? Or you, or you can even lock them if you want, like so. So now we just have to animate these, and we're done. Uh, I'm gonna go to two seconds. Uh, I'm gonna select one of these, and now Awesome Babel comes a little bit of a hard work part. Uh, you're supposed to select each and every one of them, like individually. Right click and click on Create Shapes from Vector Layer, right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna translate this thing into an After Effects file that we can edit. So for example, right now, I cannot really change the size of this guy, right? I can scale it up, sure, but I'm actually scratching that. I'm not increasing the length of the of the line. But if I right click and convert to the shape layer, this way I can increase the line properly like this, right? Uh, so that's important. And it's gonna help us a little bit in the animation as well, right? Superb. So we'll have to do uh, this for every single layer that's there. So right click, create shapes from vector layer. Right click, create shapes from vector layer. Right? And uh, you, you remember how I told you guys at the start that this can get a little bit tedious and time consuming. Right now we're just doing it for, I don't know, seven, eight layers. But in the complex preview, I had to do it for about, uh, you can see, these many layers, like about, uh, 20 layers I had to do it for so it it's not the best uh, thing to do right and it, the the work definitely piles on so um, you know you can animate like that and then just stick it out and uh, just focus on the end product because the end product is gonna look superb so right click shape layers 
shape layers. Now once this is done, you can just select these guys and you can delete because you know because you no longer need them. Uh, next, uh, actually, I'm, I'm I'm seeing this problem here, guys, that this line is a little darker and this line is a little lighter. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to increase its stroke value to two, right? Good. Now they're all even. Now you just have to add trim parts to them and animate them. So I'm going to open this layer, add trim parts, okay? Open this and then depending on how you want to animate, maybe you want to animate it out like this, right? Or maybe you want to animate it like that. So depending on that, you may, uh, you know, go around messing with things. But I, what I like to do is that before starting the animation, I like to copy trim parts. So just select this trim parts, copy it and apply it to all the different layers. So this way you don't have to add trim parts, add trim parts again and again for every layer. Superb. Uh, open trim parts. Mm, we'll click on end, move back in time. We'll go to zero. Okay. So if we preview this, you can see this line right there. It's going from zero all the way to hundred, right? Close that. Hit the U key two times. You guys can observe my workflow too. Uh, if, you, if you have a better workflow, then leave that in the comments below. Uh, but uh, what I like to do is that I like to select the layer, hit the U key two times, go to contents, close it, open it. There's gonna be a trim pass option there. Let me scale this up for you, for you guys to see this better. So there's trim parts, open this, and then you can animate. So I want to give it a simple animation as well. So we'll go from We'll start the animation here, move back in time, change it to zero. Okay, so if you preview this, both of our lines start like that. If you, if you don't want it like that, you want the other line to have an opposite uh, sort of distance, then you can increase the start to 100. Oops, sorry. You can uh, make this zero, move back in time, and increase this to 100. So if you play this, you can see we're having like that cross line sort of effect. Looks nice, looks nice. Um, Select the other one, U, U two times, close contents, open contents, uh, go to trim parts. You, you, you don't even have to worry about all this. Even though this is getting in the way, that's okay. Just avoid that. Just straight go to trim parts, animate end, make this zero, right? Close it by clicking on the U. U, U two times, go to two seconds, um, contents, open it, trim parts, oops, trim parts, right? increase it to 100. So if you play this, you can see, very nice effect, looks nice, looks really nice. U two times, so it's gonna close up. U two times again to open, content, open it, go to trim parts, and we'll animate this. Now, okay, here is an, an example of an interesting kind of animation. So if I was to just do it like this, it's gonna create not a very even animation. The animation definitely works and it's gonna look nice. And the title is gonna have most of the attention, right? So no one would really focus on this small mistake. But if you're a perfectionist like me, you know, you would like to get this right. So what I would say is, start the animation for both, start and end, okay? Move back in time, and then make both of them 50-50. So what's gonna happen is, they're gonna both start their animation like that. And you can see that even though we did 50-50, and we are going to 0-100, there is this very weird uh, shape being created. And what you can do is you can use the offset for evening out the the difference between the shapes, right? So, right, you can go down number, make a 9.5 for perfection, right? And now if we play this, it's gonna start properly from here. It's gonna go all the way until there, right? Looks good. Um, again, you, you. Contents, trim parts, end, right? U, U, contents. Now, instead of doing it uh, front and then back, let's go from front to back. Um, so I'll decrease or I'll increase this to 100, move ahead in time, and make it zero, right? Uh, we have animated all our lines and everything. Correct, now we just have to add ease. So don't add ease, add ease at the end. And that, that, that's why I was purposely leaving them at linear keyframes. So now we can select everything, hit the F9 key, go to the graph, select this uh, keyframe, and push the ease like that. 
So now if we play this, right, looks really nice. And now awesome people, one thing that you can do is you can even offset this. Um, if you want to, if this animation is bugging you like it is bugging me that why is it starting from here? Why can't it start from here and meet in the middle? Uh, what you can do, and again, this takes a, this depends on how good of a work you want to give to your client, right? So I'm going to solo this layer so we can work on this problem. So what I want is I want this animation to have an, a, a mirror effect as well, right? Um, what you could do is you can uh, duplicate this, right? Or actually not duplicate first, let's duplicate later. Hit the U key two times to reveal the keyframes. Move ahead in time and what we'll do is we will make this 50. Uh, we'll make it this number and we'll make it that number. So, so I cannot give you proper increments, right? So you can mess around with what works best, which number works best and come there, right? Now we can just duplicate this and we can hit the R key and we can rotate it like so, right? So this way, if we play this, we are having that perfect animation, right? That that just for some reason looks much better to me than the other one. Um, now, if we unsolo this, we have all our line animation, and that looks perfect. Super. Uh, let's unshy all the layers that we have done. Let's unlock them. Let's put the eyeball back, and let's see what we have. So the text still has to be animated, but leaving that part out leaving these three guys out i think the animation looks really nice right super now one thing that you have to remember when you're adding text to wedding videos is that everything has to be subtle and slow and everything like you cannot add scale up scale down rotation cinematicness flare stuff to the to a wedding video right Un unless it's michael bay but um usually you, you don't want to do that so what I'll do is I'll make this, I'll, I'll push this up and I'll put uh, the check, uh, like the eyeballs on these uh, titles uh, back up, right? So this way we are having uh, a reference to what we want to type. So you can take the type tool in After Effects now and you can start typing. So I'm going to say you're invited, right? Invited, correct. Um, go to the character panel. And I'm going to change it to this font, Mons Montserrat. I'm not sure if I'm getting the name right. And this is a superb font. I've used it in my 100 titles pack. I've used it pretty much everywhere. Right, I'm going to put it right there. And there's an exclamation point too. So, right there. Right, superb. That looks awesome to me. Uh, oops, sorry. There you go. That looks nice to me. Next, you want to create uh, stuff for this. So the font that I'm using, you can duplicate the layer, bring it down, and then scale it up. So I'm gonna say uh, John and Maria, right? John and Maria. Uh, and we're gonna change the script to Edwardian script, right? You you can find some nice cursive letters online. Oh, so, so, sorry, a uh, course of font online and depending if the client is paying you then you can even buy a font for him you know so John and Maria that looks nice you can make this fox bold but I don't really like it that much so I'm gonna keep it there increase the size to that that looks awesome and lastly we want to add a date here so I'll duplicate this let's do uh, 10 10 2016 right 2016 right there okay so now you can even delete these layers because these were going to be reference for us right but uh, our work is done now or uh, their work is done now and uh, we can delete them now we're gonna add scale to these two guys so scale zero p push it to zero right and you want to see to it that they are not animating like this this is not going to look nice so before starting the animation you can bring their um, their anchor points the center now I have a script for doing this because I do this all the time but you can do this by clicking on the span behind tool and bringing the anchor point like this but I highly recommend getting this script because it's a free script 
you know move anchor point script so select this click over here and as you can see it's very easy so now if you play this mm, give it time guys right it's definitely gonna play we just have to add a little ease over there and I feel that this guy is a little big so make it 47 or maybe 45 super uh, and as for the main title we will give them a scale up but we'll not do it to like from 0 to 210 okay that's gonna be too much so what we'll do is we'll scale this move back in time and you have to make sure that, again that the anchor point is in the center okay um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna scale it up just a bit something like that like right? only 40 pixels correct so it has like a very nice fade effect superb that looks good to me uh, next I'll add in uh, an opacity fade so opacity maybe not this much I'll go to the half of the animation and I'll add opacity there right something like that right looks good uh, next what you want to do is that now you can stop here this definitely looks good you just have to add ease now so select everything except for opacity Op opacity should be linear in my opinion right go to graph like them hit the F9 key ease out like this and this in my opinion is looking nice okay uh, but what you could do is you could also add one more effect that I am a big fan of so you can take the mask tool right create a mask like so right move back in time double click on the mask to select it and you can just push it off like this add ease and you will see that you have an awesome effect oops sorry May maybe not add ease to this so just select the keyframes hit the F9 button and maybe you want to slow this down too so you don't want it to end in one second you want it to at least have two three seconds of animation time right and the one problem that we're having is that there is no feather here right very sharp edges you want feather so select it hit the F key and feather it out right that looks good to me right superb superb that looks nice now to composite this um, if you see right now we cannot really read the title so if I if, if I take my title composition the one that we just animated and break it down you can see that no one can, like you cannot really read what's written because of the full shot right even if we scale it down and and even though the the title has been placed on a fairly white and uh, you know light background you cannot really read it so what I like to do is that I like to create an overlay solid so call this overlay create a solid right uh, bring this down and add an opacity fade so start the animation make it zero move ahead in time to about 130 right 130 is right there and then make this 75 or maybe make this 50 right 50 should be work and um, just because our video has the cinematic letterboxing I'll create a boxing effect change this to 80 change it to stencil alpha and that looks good right now if you play it uh, maybe push the title composition a little bit further ahead so that the overlay comes first and then the title animates in right tell me that doesn't look good guys like just just go ahead and tell me come on that looks awesome and uh, what you can do I, in my opinion this title is being animated a little too fast so you can we're gonna go to our title composition hit the U key for seeing the keyframes and maybe two seconds is a little too fast so we'll go to about um, Four seconds right select all the keyframes just push it there that's all 
and you would also want to push the opacity accordingly because you want the opacity fade-in to be the exact half of our, of our full animation. Now let's preview it and see what is up, right? what is happening. I, I, in my opinion, 4 is a little too slow. I think we should have gone for 3 seconds. Right? Yeah, as you can see, 4 is a little too slow. Let's go to 3 seconds. Select all the keyframes again. Push it to here. And this too. And the opacity one has to be adjusted accordingly. Right? That looks really nice. Uh, what you could do is you could also add like a opacity fade in to the title composition itself, just a small one, you know, so it animates in a little bit better instead of just uh, starting the scale and trim pass animation, right? That's like that small fade. Uh, one more thing that you could do is you could go to FX and presets, type in blur and take Gaussian blur and apply it to the footage behind. And you can go here, make this about, I don't know, 5, 10 maybe, maybe 25, you know, so it adds like a little bit of, see, you, you don't want to go overboard and make it 100, right, you want something like this. This is towards movie side, cinematic side, wedding videos are very different, so because we still want the, the hands to be seen together and everything, right, adds a little romanticness and stuff. Um, so we'll go to 10 pixels, move back in time, make this zero, All right? Now if you play this, hopefully this should look good. And that looks awesome. So that was my tutorial on how to animate a wedding title in Adobe After Effects. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, thank you for watching this video. And if you were here till the end, then type in. Thank you for watching my video everyone. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please like this video on YouTube and uh, share it as much as you can. So it can help me a little bit. And uh, you know, that is all awesome people. So thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Take care everyone.